There is a kind of wonder to the mystery of it all. What what's out there? What interesting things that we can't possibly imagine? You know, there could be all kinds of life forms, bacteria, all this kind of stuff. I tend to believe that. Um, you know, it depends on the day. I tend to believe there's just a lot of very primitive organisms just spread out throughout, and they build their little things like bacteria type organisms. Um, and just to think what kind of worlds there are, because they're probably really creative living organisms. Because the conditions, I guess the question I'm wondering to myself when I look out there to the stars, how different are the conditions on the different planets that orbit those stars? It will definitely be very different. I mean, the variety out there is is huge. We now know that I think it's about every other star has at least one planet. I, I already mentioned the number of stars in the galaxy. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's, it, that's, it's a huge number of planets out there. So who knows what that looks like? All we know is that there is there is a lot of variety. We don't quite yet understand what drives that, what governs that, why that is the case. Why is it not all one size fits all? Oh, you mean the so, dynamics of uh, planet formation, like exoplanet formation or star formation, the whole All shebang? of it. All of it. Um, star formation is remains a much researched topic. We kind of we definitely know that it works <laughs> because sure. all the stars are there. <laughs> Same for the planets, but the details are so varied per gas cloud. Right? Um, it's very hard to to come up with very detailed prescriptions. Broadly, we have figured it out. You need a gas cloud. You need to cool it something clumps and fragments and somehow it makes a star with planets or mm -hmm. without. But the dynamics of the clumping process is not fully understood. No, no. And and it, it, the local conditions are so varied, right? I mean, it's yeah. the same with, you know, all people look like people, but individually we look very different. So even the subtle diversity of the formation process creates all kinds of fun Yes, differences. so you, you, we just don't know how this turned out in an individual case. And it's kind of hard to to figure it all out and and to take a look certainly with planets right the chance for ever to ever actually take a picture of a planet is, is minuscule because they don't shine mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're really dark <laughs> yeah so i'd say there's 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 a lot of possibility out there but we have to be a little bit more patient <laughs> before yeah, or we come up with technologies where patience becomes less necessary Yes. By extending our lifetimes or or increasing the speed of space travel, all the kind of stuff. Humans are pretty pretty intelligent. They're pretty uh, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> for the most part, I hope. On the when I'm on the optimistic days.